Wonder what to post on social media as a realtor? Today I'm gonna to give you the seven pillars of successful real estate content. Developing relationships and growing your following on social media has become ever more important as a real estate agent. Today what I want to do is I'm going to share with you some of the types of content that should be the pillars that you're going to be posting on a consistent basis that will help build community, will help you find new people that will begin to follow you, and will give you the ability to deepen existing relationships. So let's roll right into this. And what I want to do is I'm going to use that word pillars as the acronym for what we're going to be actually talking about. So I'm going to start with the P. The P stands for people to highlight. In reality, it isn't even about us. Sometimes what it is, is it's about putting other people in the spotlight, making them the hero. And by doing so, obviously it gives us the ability to have people that may share a little more of our content, may absolutely, absolutely give us the ability to show us as the expert, the one with the relationships. So I'm going to talk about a few people that you can put in these highlight reels, so to speak, of what's going on with them. First one is, is to congratulate people on buying a home. Uh, make them the hero. Say, it was so great working with whoever it is. Uh, this great family will be moving to our area and they will be locating in this neighborhood and I'm so excited for them to become a active part of our community. Maybe that's something where you're congratulating somebody on selling their home. So excited that I had the opportunity to help whoever it is, go to the next step in their life, which is to be closer to their family, whatever it may be. Just highlighting those folks, highlighting what it is that you were able to do to assist them, but putting them at the center of this and making them the hero. Also, highlighting people in your community. Maybe this is where you're highlighting something along the lines of a charity, or you're highlighting a business, or you're highlighting someone that owns one of those businesses, or somebody that does something special in your area, like superintendent of schools, or someone that's a county commissioner, or someone that is actively involved in your community, whatever it is, by highlighting those folks, sharing details, or just saying thank you to whoever it is for the work they do with whatever charity it is, it gives you the ability to actually tag that person, tag the charity, which gives you the ability to have some cross promotion when you're doing those things. Again, when you make someone else the hero, it ends up that the spotlight absolutely gets turned back and pointed towards you as well. Another pillar of content for agents is the I, which is in the know. This is where we're going to actually share what going on in our community. We're going to talk about the activities that are upcoming, maybe a festival, maybe an art show, maybe some type of a little theater performance that's coming up. What is it that's happening in your area that you can become almost like the news reporter that reports and lets people know about what's coming up? By being the resource for everything in your community, it'll absolutely make you the resource for everything real estate. Next up is a pillar of content for you on social media is the local listicles. Now, if you're not familiar with what the word listicle means, this is where posts that are made that have numbers in them. So it would be like five top, five favorite, three favorite, whatever it is, people love these listicles because we have become a society of scanners where we go in and we really scan through and we see which ones we want. This also blends itself to certain types of posts. It could be a carousel post, it could be a reel, it could be a story, whatever the, that may be. Let me give you some examples of this. Three great places to have lunch in our city. It could be five great places to watch the sun go down in our area. It could be three great parks that are pet friendly in your area. Whatever it is, you're highlighting local area amenities and you're doing it in a list format so that people have the understanding of what's coming and they can make notes and it gives them the ability to feel very comfortable that this is something that's going to be orderly and that they're going to get value from. The fourth pillar of social media content for realtors is the L for listings. Listen, we are in this business. People love seeing listings. They want to know information, but there's a number of ways that you can do this and you can mix up the type of content you're doing. We absolutely want to highlight some of the photos, maybe some of the short form videos that we're doing of our listings or listings that we like. This could be everything from Friday finds or Friday favorites where you would highlight one specific property. This could be where you would come in and you would say, you're not going to believe the kitchen in this house. You could also utilize this in stories. Now you have the ability to put a link where you could say, if you'd like more details on this, click the link below and you've got the link actually attached in the story, which can then drive them to your web page, to the website, or whatever it is that you're trying to drive them towards, maybe a longer form video. Again, short form videos, long form videos, having the ability to go in and put photos of certain listings and drive traffic to those listings is a great way. You're providing them with the content that they truly want, which is photos and details about homes that are currently for sale. 
The next pillar of content for real estate agents is the A, which stands for all access. Now, this is where we're going to give behind the scenes. We're going to actually use our stories in a way that we're kind of giving them the opportunity to ride along with us. So if you're going to have an open house, going out and just doing a quick story video where you're saying, hey, getting ready for my open house today at whatever. It gives you the ability to promoting the open house a little bit. Also, you kind of show them what you're doing. Today, I've got this open house. Everybody else just assumes that you just show up and you have the house ready and you go. But I'm gonna show you today how you can see exactly what we do to prepare for the open house. Show them a short video of you setting the signs up. Show them going in where you're sweeping the ports before people get there. Maybe you're going in there, you're turning all the lights on. Maybe you're showing some activity when people are filled up in the house. And maybe you're giving a kind of a end of the uh, open house kind of summary of exactly how the day went. When you begin to give people all access, this could be talking about anything you're doing. Hey, today I'm showing three great houses. I'm excited to be in this area. And then just taking quick videos of, hey, the first house was this, or second house was this, whatever it is, or you're on a listing tour. Sharing information and giving people all access, almost like you're pulling the curtain back and letting them see what really goes on. This is why all of these real estate quote unquote reality shows do so well as people are genuinely interested in our business. Make sure you give the people exactly what they want, which is access to exactly what you're doing so that they can follow along and they begin to build a relationship with you straight through these videos. Next pillar of social media content for realtors is the R, which stands for reviews and testimonials. You know, there's been these studies that have been done back years ago. What it would happen is, is if I was curious about what I would want to do, I would ask someone, a friend of mine, hey, who is it that you use for this? And then as soon as they said that, I would immediately call that person. And it was just basically they were giving me a personal review of what it was they were doing or a recommendation. Nowadays, what we're finding is, is over 80% of people go online to look for reviews about people they're working with, with people that they may be considering working with. And they actually now psychologically trust those online reviews as much as they do from a personal recommendation from a friend of theirs. So we're shifting now into that review and testimonial economy where the power and the, and the value of those uh, testimonials and reviews is more than it's ever been. So these are some things that you can do on those posts. Create a social graphic where you're sharing that information. Maybe get a short video with somebody talking about certain things that you're doing. There are a number of different products out there from Testimonial Tree. Um, you can use Canva if you've already got some of these to dress these up in a way that you have a social media post that is very attractive and just gathers people's attention. This is a great way to say, I love having the opportunity with, to work with great people. Here's what a few people have said or here's what someone said about working with me. This is a great way for you to share that and in a humble way, let them know that you are really good at what you do. By doing so, it creates trust, which ultimately creates opportunities for you to do more business. Last but not least, as far as the pillars for real estate social media content is the S, which stands for stats. Now, I don't want you to think about this in a boring way. I want you to think about putting these stats in a way and different types of stats that make it something that people want to be a part of. Now, there's certain people that just love stats, but most people that are on social media that are scrolling through, they're more interested in pictures. They're more interested in presentation. So here's some stats that you want to do. What's going on in the market? Think of doing this in a creative way where it's like a carousel post, which you can just simply go on and you can Google or go on YouTube and say, how do I create a carousel post? And it's going to tell you exactly how to do that. But where you've got it where they would have the initial stats. Here's the updated stats for sales details for the first quarter of 2023 in whatever your area is. Then it flips over to the next page and it says sales uh, number of contract or number of sales in the first quarter versus last year in the first quarter was up or down, whatever. Then it goes to the next page. It talks about the average sales price. Then you go to the next page and it talks about what's going on as far as average days on market. Then you talk about some of the trends you're seeing as far as pending contracts or the amount of inventory. By creating something that is a little more creative, but that is just showing it in a little bit different way, you take something that a lot of people would be turned off by or that might be boring and you do it in a way that it becomes attractive and people know that you're doing your business, you're doing it creatively, and you're giving them information they want. Another great stat to think about is, is go to whatever it is for your area, the local demographics, whether it could be the Chamber of Commerce that does this on an annual basis, could be a Tourist Development Council, could be anything, wherever you can gather those local stats. This could be the average, um, the average test scores for your local school district. This could be information about um, the number of people that are moving to your area. This could be just general census data that tells you about your local area that someone considering moving there is going to find very interesting. By presenting this in a creative way, these stats actually become something that people are not only interested in, but they find it an opportunity for them to begin to trust you even more because you're that resource for all the details that they need about the community.
The ability for you to connect with people on social media, to create content that is something that is engaging and that gives people the opportunity to know, like, and trust you better is very important in today's environment. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.